Hey guys, this is Kevin.、Uh, today I'm going to talk about、uh, what happens if, uh, uh, if your printer's、uh, nozzle check l o o k like this. This is what a regular、uh, nozzle check pattern l o o k like. And、uh, you can see、uh, if your printer p r i n t from like this to this kind of pattern,、uh, sometimes even you have a whole bar, like a whole. Uh, whole red or whole blue, all the way across.、Uh, you got to stop right there. Don't do anything. So, this video is shot in our lab, so there will be some background noise. So, I apologize here.、Uh, nothing I can do about it. Man is working. Okay, uh, today, uh, today is、uh, when you have a nice nozzle check l o o k like this. <laughs> What happened? Okay. And the happen, the, what happened is,、uh, you know, the printhead h a v e、uh, many contact points. And、uh, some contact points is for power, some contact points is for the signal for printing. So, yours, the power one still works. So, it still w o r k normally. So, you think it's good, but if you print, it p r i n t like this. Okay? You can see the. Magenta g e t power on all the time from beginning to the end. So when you say this, stop right here because you got the ink leak problem. Okay? I forgot to say you also have an electricity leak problem because、uh, the, for the red to be power on, so you have to have some electricity. So there's electricity leaking from your power intake to the magenta port. And、uh, the ink already corroded your printhead. And、uh, maybe your cable, you might need to repair both. Okay, let's.、Uh, Abby already, already took this out. Let's take a look at print that. Save those contact points. Perfect, no problem. And here, see the problem here? So,、uh, there's no way you can, you can recover this print that. You need to print that. Okay, that's the first thing you know. The, okay, let's see if we need a new cable. Whoa!、Yeah. <laughs> oh my awful, god. That was really bad.、Uh, so there, there's a.、Uh, you can see the lightning here. Die! Okay. So those two get s h o r t out. And.、Uh, But that had caused the 09A? Yeah. Abby mentioned 0X. 9A,、uh, that's the air code for、uh, WF7620. And in the WF7720, and it is called 031006. So both of them is the electricity went back to the mainboard and fried the mainboard. So if you have that,、um, normally, normally the printer cannot stand like a A big electric arc like this, and the main board will be fried. Then you get a 0x9a, and、uh, that's what、uh, Abby means. She's surprised this printer can stand that. And、um, I misunderstood her. I thought that th th、uh, there's no way this printer can survive that. The printer has a 0x9a. That's yeah, called I was surprised a, it didn't. Yeah. No, I did. That's. No, it didn't. I didn't? The, no, no. Oh, you didn't burn the main board? Okay. Mm -mm, not yet. I was、yeah. surprised. Yeah, next thing is going to、uh, already burn the cable, bring the p r i n t e d Next thing is going to bring the main board. So I'm happy that the customer stopped at the, exactly at not the right moment. There's no right moment at this time. <laughs> right moment it will be a BSH product to prevent this. But however, so you need to replace this and.、Uh, I'll be going to have a video show you how to replace this. So, next, I'm going to show you how this happened and how to prevent it. Our customer is an、uh, industrial customer. He only u s e genuine Epson ink. Okay? He r e q u i r e even we do the repair, we use Epson ink. So, he did nothing wrong in his life. Okay? <laughs> never use third party cartridges, never use third party ink. Okay?、It's、breathe in, breathe out Epson. Pure Epson. However, there's a little bit of design problem with Epson. Say, when you, when you print that, go back and forth like this, the ink is going to、uh, accumulate underneath this plate. So, where this ink goes? It goes here. So, Epson design an edge here. 
so the ink is going to slowly flow this way okay and they're going to accumulate here so if you print higher, like a print like this this is this correct way and uh, your ink get, ends up here so for Epson they should design their contact points up here instead of they put it right on the bottom okay so your unit gonna accumulate and uh, one day uh, just around your busiest time of course it's busy time because you accumulate more ink and they're gonna see a spark and uh, you're gonna see a Christmas light. So what you can do is, uh, next time is buy those uh, printer shield. So we go to bchtechnologies.com and we go to accessories and uh, we go to printhead cover. And uh, each option, if you have a silicon seal, you can just get use yours. Uh, if you don't, I suggest use a silicon seal uh, to seal your product after the insula installation. So we have the print cover for 7720. And it has a letter left, uh, so BCH logo and the left. You put on the cable first, then, and, uh, then this thing going to prevent the ink flow back to, to your cable. And also, if you want the deluxe version, it also have a tube of silicon seal. You can seal this, seal all the edges, so it's completely waterproofed. And uh, it's only a couple dollars, going to save you, um, if it's not uh, thousands of dollars, maybe hundreds mm -hmm. of dollars. However, if your member is already burned, uh, or uh, you want us to do it, you can go to bchtechnologies.com and uh, hit the printer repair service. And uh, regular service is just fifty dollars, and uh, uh, yeah, you can contact us to either send it in or drop it off. And the full term is here. Uh, just keep in mind, our repair list is kind of long, so uh, just contact us, see what our waiting our waiting period is. Uh, Sometimes we get we get overwhelmed and cannot work it out, work on it right away. Just shoot an email, shoot us an email, uh, support at bchtechnology.com and uh, or just drop off it locally. Uh, we're at uh, we're near the airport at Greensboro. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, have have a healthy printer. Cheers.